What is a research paper? You must have come across this term for the first time either in high school, in college or while reading some online blogs or articles. And it must have left you confused because research paper is not something we discuss in our day-to-day -day lives. So what is a research paper? Who writes it? And what role can it play in your career? Well, let's find out. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grival. I'm the founder of Wise Up, and on this channel, I make videos on studying abroad, job readiness, research mastery, and communication skills, essentially all those areas where you need to become wiser to succeed in your career. So if any of these topics are relevant to you, you can subscribe to this channel. And now, let's understand everything about research papers. Now to understand what are research papers, you first need to understand what is research. So research is the creation of new knowledge or ideas. That could be in a laboratory where a scientist is creating some new materials or it could be on a computer where you're developing new technology or it could also be a survey where you're gathering feedback from the people who are using a particular product. In all these cases, you are developing new knowledge or ideas and that is called as research. Now, once you've conducted your research, you would want to share it with people or you would like to document it somewhere so that you have proof that you've conducted research and the outcome that you've gotten. So this essay that you write where you document your research findings based on the research work that you have done is called a research paper. Now, let me explain this to you in a more modern way. Nowadays, if someone wants to share information, what do they do? They use social media, they will make a video, they will make a podcast or they will write a blog or an article. And that is how they will communicate that information to you. Similarly, if you have conducted your research, then the way to communicate that information is by writing an essay where you share all your findings, all your analysis and the results that you have achieved. And this essay that you write is called as a research paper. Now, what is the main difference between a video, blog and a research paper? In a video and a blog, you can literally write anything that you want. But a research paper is not based on your personal opinion or your personal feelings. It is based on evidence-based findings. You can only write things that you have proof of. For example, if I've developed a new material, then I will have to share the step-by-step -step process as to how I have developed it. I'll have to show some tests as to what properties does this material have. At the same time, I will also have to show some photos that this is the new material and that is how it looks like. And once I have all these proofs, only then can I write a research paper. Now, another difference between a video, blog and a research paper is that videos and blogs are not vetted by anyone. Today, I wanted to make a video on what is a research paper. I shot the video and I uploaded it on YouTube. Who is there to check whether what I am saying is correct or not? But a research paper is published by the publishing house only after it has been reviewed by the research community. So when you read a research paper, you can have the confidence that what I am reading is true and credible. That is the reason why publishing a research paper is given so much value because it is not easy to publish one. So now do you have clarity on what is a research paper? Now let's understand who writes a research paper. Technically, anyone who conducts authentic research can write and publish their research paper. But research requires equipment, facilities, funding and access to people who have the knowledge and can guide you in conducting research. And therefore, research is usually conducted by universities, research institutes, public and private companies. And that is the reason why research papers are also usually written by academic scholars like undergrad, masters, PhD students, professors and scientists and researchers working in companies and organizations. Now, why do people write a research paper? Why bother going through all the hassle of writing a paper and then publishing it? Well, the first and the most important reason is that it is a way of giving back to the society and pushing the frontiers of research. When you're doing research, you're coming up with something new, something novel that nobody in the world has ever done before. 
So when you publish your research paper using your work, other researchers can take that field forward. And that is the way how you're giving back to the society. For example, the smartphone that you're holding in your hand, what do you think? Was it built by a single researcher and that too in one year? No, it involved months and months of research and by thousands of researchers all across the world. Whenever one researcher made a discovery, they wrote a research paper and published it. And using that knowledge published in the research paper, other researchers use that information to further that field and take it forward. Another reason to write and publish a research paper is the simple fact that it is the only proof to show that you've conducted research. When it comes to research, we don't do audios, videos or podcasts. We only do research papers. So if you don't write a paper, then there is no proof that you even conducted research in the first place. And finally, conducting research and publishing a research paper is not easy. So if you manage to do one, it really shows your ability to solve problems, perform data analysis and arrive at meaningful solutions. Skills that are really valued by both companies and academia. So what role can publishing a research paper play in your career? Publishing a research paper helps you deep dive into a topic and therefore builds your knowledge in that field. At the same time, it helps you develop important skills like problem solving, critical thinking, effective communication, etc. So when you publish research papers, it gives confidence to the companies that you're applying to that you will be able to execute all your responsibilities successfully. At the same time, if you're applying for higher studies, then universities readily give you admission because number one, you have all the knowledge and skills that are required to pursue that course. And secondly, you will be able to contribute to their ongoing research as well. So by publishing research papers, you not only contribute to the society, but at the same time, it boosts your career opportunities as well. Now, if you wish to learn from scratch how to choose a research topic, write each and every section of a research paper, use the latest AI tools to write and publish your research paper faster, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research paper writing. Over 2000 students have taken this course and successfully published their first research papers. To know more, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment. And now, thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic career ahead.